All right, it looks like the tail end of my last video there got cut off. I guess I ran out of time here. So the idea again is, so we set up the right triangle. We use the fact that x was 3 tangent of theta. So simplifying, we get tangent of theta is x over 3. And we're going to use the mnemonic SOCA TOA. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. <clears throat> So we can label our right triangle, if tangent of theta is x over 3, well then the opposite's x, the adjacent's 3. We can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the missing side, which is what I did here. And recall that secant of theta is 1 over cosine of theta. So since cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, that means secant is going to be the flip of that, or hypotenuse over adjacent. And that's what I have for my right triangle. It says secant of theta will be the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And now all I have to do is simply plug in that secant of theta equals all of this stuff. So secant of theta is the square root of x squared plus 9 over 3 cubed. And then I'm just plugging it in over on the other part as well. Now I'm back to my original variable x. And that's going to be my solution.